We're rolling. Are we rolling? All right, boys and girls, we're rolling. Yeah, I'm sitting in a chair. No, this is this is my table. It's been my workplace for the last few days. Got some fillers, glue, tape. I know it. Yeah, it's messy to me too. Um, get the coffee cup. We got applicators, knife, pencils, pens, rulers. So basically what I've been doing, carving a lot of uh, polyurethane foam. Uh, I like the poly U because um, you can you can put fillers on it. You can you can put plaster on it. Uh, I've kind of experimented a little bit with uh, just about every type of putty you can put on it. Um, nothing nothing eats it. The only thing that eats it is fire. Don't burn it. It's not good. Not good for you. Not good for me. Um, plaster. I found sanding it. It breaks away. Uh, it doesn't quite bond to the poly very good. Uh, even the... This is just a polyester glaze. Whoa! Look at that. There you go. It's just a polyester filler. Uh, glaze. Um, it seems to stick good to the poly. That could have been bad. It sticks okay, but when you start to sand it thin, uh, it seems to chip off. So, already experienced that today. We'll go over, we'll have a look at the parts uh, that I've been working on today. Uh, for the quarter scale Chevy. That's kind of what I've been concentrating on the last little while. Uh, we'll go over here. We got everything off of the chassis. Uh, still got a short in the front by three inches because uh, the wheelbase is not right. Um, so we got the we get the top part of the cab here. This is all fresh polyester resin. More or less an experiment. Um, I put some fillers on a few bad spots on the cab top and as I was sanding it, it chipped away. Left some gouging. Left some divots. Uh, so then I thought I would try a acrylic primer filler and fill everything well uh, that just made it made it look even more ugly than it already was so what basically what I did is I took one of the fenders and we put a polyester resin on it earlier it dried and I really liked uh, the results it made the made the foam uh, very rigid so the idea behind it is any little nicks gouges we just fill them up with the polyester and and then we can put some body filler on later to fix any of the little flaws uh, makes it way nicer to sand uh, way nicer to work on I don't have to worry about uh, the foam, the foam is so delicate. Um, you know, sanding this stuff is uh, it's basically like putting butter on your toast. And yeah, that's too delicate for me. So basically, we're going to resin everything. We're going to resin everything. We got the box. I'm going to get the box all sanded down. Uh, get any flaws get the back of it done we'll get it trimmed out with a tailgate with the embossed uh, probably just the Chevy logo uh, the bow tie we'll get it all resined up uh, it's got to be sanded all the splinters got to be taken off uh, this is gonna probably be a bit of a lock in the mold so we'll 
put some fillers in here after it's been resin. Um, this here, we got the back of the cab. This is this is one of the spots uh, where I used I used plaster of Paris. You can see the white. The red is just a uh, magic marker. It's a sharpie. Ah, sharpie. Um, we got the front. Um, I added a few pieces here to make this plane for the door nice and level. Uh, again, I put the body filler on and you can see the gouging. You can see the gouging where the body filler uh, just kind of falls away. So my whole thinking was, you know, I'll, I'll get this cleaned up. And that's like the back. It's like we got the we got the plaster on there, and the plaster kind of did the same thing. It did gouge away a bit, and left quite the ridge. But now that we've got a layer of polyester on here, I'm hoping or hopeful uh, that the polyester resin keeps everything sealed together. Uh, so so as I can basically do some body work. Put some fillers on it, sand it. Yeah. The chassis, gonna get to doing some work on the chassis. Basically, we've got the axle in, we're gonna put the drive, the drive pulley on, we'll get the belt on, we'll get the tensioner on the belt. Um, We'll get a servo underneath uh, the carburetor. It's probably where I'm going to put the servo for to run the uh, the linkage for the throttle. Um, in the next few days, hopefully, uh, we can give this. You know, we can run it. We can fire it up. We'll put a fuel tank on it. We'll run it, and we'll see. Uh, Kind of what the the pulley belt ratio is uh, hopefully it's it's more or less just going to be a cruiser but if i can make this thing spin the tires that would kind of be a bonus um, if it's just a cruiser well we'll play with the gear ratio on the pulleys a wee bit uh, i would like it to spin the tires um, you know, if not, uh, I got a few other trimmer motors that are a little bigger than this one. We can always swap out for a little bit larger trimmer motor. Uh, I've got a couple, couple interesting ones. I've got a, I've got a. This is a Home Light Bandit. Kind of an unusual one. Um, I believe this one is a 30 cc's. It's 25 or 30 cc's. I think the one in the chassis right now is only about a 22, maybe, maybe less, maybe an 18. It's a little smaller. Um, but that's down the road. Um, I want you to check out this. I do a little bit of airbrushing. Uh, this was just something quick I did. We are going to shoot some videos of me actually doing some airbrushing. Uh, it'll probably be something along this lines. It'll be, it'll be skulls, flames, uh, stuff like that. It seems to be uh, kind of what I what I'm into, what I like. Um, I do a little bit of everything. Uh, Everything from textiles to automotive, you know, materials, canvas, metal. Uh, there isn't anything that I probably haven't airbrushed on. Um, but we're, we're going to just do a little tutorial on airbrushing. Uh, just to give you an idea. Um, I think, you know, 
if it's an interest that you might think you want to try, I think you should just buy an airbrush and try it. Um, I've had lots of people try my airbrushes. Um, they think that it's really hard, but it's really just a whole bunch of practice. The more you do it, the better you get. And I hope that we get to that airbrushing segment soon. It, it probably we probably I won't be able to do the whole thing in one segment, uh, but we'll break it down, and we're gonna do it in segment after segment after segment after segment, and we're just gonna do it until I get the job done. Don't know what I'm gonna airbrush yet. Uh, could be another guitar case. Um, could be something on one of our trucks, uh, could be a, a beer fridge, uh, could be a propane tank, you never know really uh, what it could be. It could be almost anything. I would love to show uh, pictures I airbrushed for from about 1995 probably for almost 20 years straight. Used to airbrush every single day. Uh, that was kind of my thing. But until then, don't forget, share, like, subscribe, comment, and until the next video, peace out later.